Hello there, it's Roman from Natively and the second part of our video on how to set up in-app purchases. In the previous video, we have enabled uh, the feature in the purchases section and created uh, two application Android and iOS in Revenue Cat dashboard. Today we will create Google Play subscription and App Store subscription and link it with our Revenue Cat project. In order to create subscription for iOS, we need to navigate to App Store Connect, open Agreement Tax and Banking, and make sure that Paid Apps is enabled. Then go back and navigate to your app. On the app page, go to the feature, Subscriptions, and create subscription group and inside of this group create a new subscription i have already created one and name it natively renewable subscription it's monthly has monthly duration and also set up the prices also for reviews you will need to provide the screenshot of your subscription and write some notes make sure the status of subscription is prepared for submission Copy your product ID and navigate to Revenue Cat dashboard. We have created monthly subscription for iOS and we need to do, to do the same for Android. For such purpose, navigate to your application dashboard in Google Developer Console and make sure you have uploaded your app to close testing. Then scroll down and find products here. Click on subscription and create a new subscription. I already have one. After you have set up uh, everything in your subscription, make sure it, should, it will be the same duration as you have created for iOS. In my case, it's monthly and after renewing. Then copy product ID. After we have created monthly after renewable subscription for iOS and Android, we can start adding it to Revenue Cat. Let's navigate to products and create a new product. Here we need to add identifier of our App Store app product and do the same for Android. Do not forget to select Android here. As you can see, we are missing entitlements here. Entitlements represent a level of access, feature or content that user is entitled to. Entitlements are used to ensure that the user has appropriate access to a content based on their purchases, without having managed all of the product identifier in your application. If we switch to Revenue Cat documentation, we can find a very nice picture that represents what is an entitlement. So in this case, we can see that there is like gold entitlement and platinum entitlement. It's also it all contained inside of uh, the monthly annual subscription from iOS, gold monthly annual subscription for Google Play, and also Stripe. Also, Revenue Cat has packages, which allows you to uh, have the separate, separate subscription on monthly, annual, or live packages, depends on your needs. So let's create our first entitlement. I will name it Process. Click on it and attach our products. Also, we need to add offering. Let's name it default. Then click and add a new package. It will have identifier. In our case, it's a monthly subscription. And we can name it
and click and attach your product. Offerings enable us to easier use and manage packages that we are offering to user across the different platforms. So let's go through that we have added. We have one entitlement, it's our Pro SS, and it has two products. In our offering, we have a default offering with one package. We have here one monthly Pro SS and two products. Our subscription, our monthly subscription from App Store and monthly subscription from Play Store. Also, in order to make uh, RevenueCat communicate with Apple servers and Google Play servers, I would recommend you to set up a server notification URL for iOS and Android. To do that, you can use this instruction in RevenueCat documentation. This will help RevenueCat to receive updates from Google servers and from Apple servers instantly. Let's switch back to RevenueCat, open API keys and create a new secret API, API key. Copy this API key and navigate to the Bubble project, plugin settings and paste it in Revenue Cat API key field. At this point, we can start a development.